Hello there, Ray here, and I'm joined by I'm Chicken as well as GSmack. And today we're going to show you guys some cool glitches to do with the ominous banner as well as other tricks. If you guys remember some of the past snapshots, they had a problem with there being two different types of banners. One was the one that showed block.minecraft.illager banner when they were all supposed to be ominous banners. They actually tried fixing this bug, but I'm a chicken show me that it's still possible to get both variations. So the ominous banners is the one that you typically see on like the captains. And these are pillagers that will, when summoned in, will eventually have a chance to have a banner on top of their head. And then when you kill them, they're gonna drop the ominous banner. And then you got a guy right here. So if we kill this guy, he's gonna drop the ominous banner. So now we got two of these guys. And you can get them from the vindicators as well as the uh, evokers. And I'm a chicken show me that it's still possible to get these in survival and you don't get them from the captains. What you do is you actually get them from the pillager outpost and the ones that come from the pillager outpost are going to still say this block.minecraft.illager underscore banner and all the rest of them are going to say this ominous banner. Notice how both of them have this gold orange text which you normally can't get in survival on any other banner. Now these banners actually generate with the outpost as a structure and you can see this one I got here came from one of the captains but if I go ahead and pick block one of these you can see it's different. And there is eight of these for every outpost. And Chicken updated the bug report on this, so hopefully they will fix this. But when they do fix this, it's going to be a new type of rare, as you can still obtain these in the full release of 1.14 and keep them in future versions. So that's going to have to be a cool type of rare that we're going to collect up on the Protect server once we upgrade to 1.14. I was here with GSmack, and we were doing some other testing with the banners as well. And we actually discovered that you can go ahead and put these guys inside of cauldrons. And if you guys don't know, when you take a banner and you use it on a cauldron, it will remove the last layer that you applied to the banner. So here I got a banner that has the globe effect and if I put it on there, you see it removed it. Now we're back down to just a white banner. And what we did is we removed all the layers of these type of banners, these ominous banners you get from the illagers. And Chicken went ahead and made a nice display case to showcase all the different layers there is. Now what makes these banners special from other banners is not only do they have this gold text where you cannot normally get in survival, is that they also have eight layers of different things placed on them. And normally in survival you can only go up to six and they won't let you go any higher than that with layers added to it. So here you can see all the layers. The very first one is the one that you would get from the different illagers or the outpost. And then as you remove layers you can see how the banner is built up. So here we remove the outside edge, here we move the little triangle in the center, and then remove the entire gray spot on the top. And then remove that little black line there. Then this one, it removed that little edge around the outside. And here we remove that line through the center, and then remove the gray, and then the only thing left is the diamond shape, and then you're ending up with a white banner. Now if you count all these, you see that there is eight different layers added on top of a white banner, and normally you can only go up to six, so they're rare for two different reasons. But when you go ahead and remove these layers, it still keeps its name. As you can see here, it keeps that unique gold name. And then when you ended up with a white banner, you can turn it around and then start adding layers to it. The guys went ahead and built up some nice cool banners here, and they still retain their names. So you can get these really cool names, and then you can apply your own design onto them. Now the base of this banner is white, so you kind of have to work off of white, but you still got six layers to add onto it before you get to your final product and where the limit is for survival. Now every layer that you removed, you have to use one use of the cauldrons, and there's only three uses, so you go through quite a few cauldrons. Now in survival, you just make a bunch of cauldrons, but in creative, uh, Xerox actually showed me how to make these cool command blocks, which when placed down, they will immediately turn into a cauldron, which is really cool because you can't go ahead and just like control pick block a cauldron and have it be filled. The way they make these command blocks is by typing in this command and then set it to always active and then have it at impulse. And then uh, when you click done, it's going to convert over into a cauldron. So before you hit enter, you want to make sure that you put something in there so it doesn't update right away. So at the end of this, I'm just going to put a letter, go ahead and hit done, and now it's not going to update. Now I'll go ahead and I'll remove the letter and then I will hit enter, and then I'll pick block this, and then when I set down, it will update and then turn it into a cauldron. That is a really cool trick they showed me and useful for a lot of circumstances when you're trying to place down a lot of certain blocks that you normally can't obtain in the creative menu. Now when it comes to renaming, if you would try to rename one of these, you can see that just like a normal name, but it does gonna show up gold. And if you add anything to this name, it's gonna immediately turn it white. So you can see all these are now white and no longer gold. And then you can go back and remove that space and then you can get one that looks just like the other ones, 
except the only difference is it's in white text instead of gold text. So you can kind of do some fun stuff with that if you want to as well. Now there is currently a bug, so if you backspace all of these text, it comes out like this, where it just keeps the very first letter in it, and it should really come up with the default name. That's something that has changed since 1.13. But if you would go ahead and add a space and then remove the space like that, then you come up with the default, which is actually a white banner, and it won't have any of that gold text. So it doesn't really matter what you do with these banners. Once you try to rename them anyway, the gold text will get removed. So you can't go ahead and give them like a custom name. You still could get these really cool gold texts in either the ominous banner or this funny name here that the game gave the banners. Now if you do have one of these banners, since they do contain eight layers, they won't allow you to add any more layers to them. You can see that you can put both the pattern as well as the die, but it won't let you do anything for the outcome because there's too many layers in here. So this one here has seven layers. I still can't add anything to it. And this one here has six layers. Won't let me add anything to it. Now this one has five layers, so I can add one more layer to it, and that makes six layers. So if you want to, you can go ahead and just get them down to that amount, and then add your own layer on top of it. Otherwise, you can remove it all the way back down to the white canvas, and then build your own custom banner. And then, of course, you can always put those banners on your shields. And G Smack here has a really cool shield. He even enchanted his. You can put unbreaking as well as mending, and also the curse enchantments as well on them. The images that are produced after putting them on a shield are a little bit shrunk down, so they look a little bit different than the original. The original was that banner there, but you can see the shield, they kind of got a trimmer on the outside and also kind of faded out some of the images. When you go ahead and put them onto a shield, even though they have that gold name, they will go ahead and swap it out with just a normal white shield name. Some cool little tricks they can do with the new ominous banners from 1.14. I hope you guys liked this, and if you guys did, be sure to show the video with some like, as well as go ahead and subscribe. And if you guys have any cool ideas to do with this, let us know down in the comments. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.